Hey guys, Paul from Paul's Body Engineering here. How are we going? How is the heat? Is everyone surviving the heat all right? So that brings me to today's subject that I wanted to discuss and that is water intake. If you're like me and, and struggle to get a good amount of water in through the day, there's a lot of tips and tricks that you can use to ensure that your body is replenished because we all know water is a very important component of day-to-day -day living. Um, so if you're struggling to get water in, particularly while it's hot now, I just wipe the sweat off my brow because it's that hot, um, there's some tips and tricks that I'm going to go through and hopefully these will help you get your water intake up. So the first one is if you can create a new habit of having at least half a litre of water as soon as you wake up. You wake up, before you prepare breakfast, skull half, well not necessarily skull, but drink half a litre of water or aim to drink half a litre of water. Not only is that going to, going to set you up for a great start to the day, but also straight away you've got 500 mil as an intake buffer already there so that way you don't have to wait because sometimes you know we get up we rushed and before you know it, it's mid-morning lunchtime and we haven't drunk any water so at least you've got half a litre in before the day's even begun. Number two, ice drinks are a great tip. While it's hot at the moment you know we're going to have, uh, we want cold drinks. Um, now I'm not, I'm not endorsing you know frappes and, and creamy drinks and things like that but a nice long black or an iced tea is a great alternative to a just a glass of water or, or iced water um, whereby it's flavoured, so you're going to be encouraged or more motivated to, to drink it. Um, but it adds to your intake, it adds to your water intake. So there's another good tip. Aminos. Now, a lot of us will use our aminos or drink our aminos while we're training. Um, it's a great post-workout drink as well, but you can sip, through, sip on it throughout the course of the day as well. And again, further water, because all it is is just the, the powder into the water, mix it in, and straight away you're going to increase that water intake. Um, another habit is that you can that you can develop is having a glass of water or you know a serving of water before or after a meal. Um, have your meal, have some water before the meal, have some water. That way, you know, if you eat five times a day, there's five glasses of water that you could potentially have, which could be uh, maybe a liter, liter and a half that you, that just adds up over the course of the day. So again, another habit that you can create to get more water into the body throughout the day. Before bed, again, just like with, uh, as soon as you wake up, if you have a big glass of water before you go to bed, that'll work through your system as you sleep. Um, and again, it's another habit and that will top you up. So you don't want to get to six o'clock at night knowing that you have to drink four litres throughout the course of the day or that's what you're aiming to do and you've drunken one. So you've got three litres. That's going to be hard to consume um, when you'll go to bed at like at nine o'clock. So you've got three hours to get to three litres in. Probably not going to happen. So at least um, having done these steps throughout the course of the day, you might only have 500 mil left. Um, and the last one is soda water and sparkling water. That's another good tip. It just provides a different texture, a different contrast to drinking plain still or tap water. Whereas you've got bubbles, you've got a, a, a bit of a difference. It almost feels like you're drinking soft drink or something like that, but without the calories. So again, another great alternative. Um, and you could even mix in your aminos or you could mix in coffee or tea with the soda, soda or sparkling water to again provide a different taste. So guys, there's some tips to get more water in. It is, it is imperative that we drink more water, especially on these hot days through summer. Um, we perspire a lot, even just in daily activity, let alone when we train, we lose a lot of water. So it's important to replace that and then some to ensure that our bodies are fully functional and really healthy. Hope that tip helps you guys and you do manage to get more water in. As always, follow me on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, and keep smiling.